Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. In today's video, I want to preface by saying, hey, anything that I tell you in today's video, definitely run it by your school or your district before you would take any of these things that I'm saying to heart. Because anything that I say could possibly go against what your school or district might say or your philosophy, so keep that in mind. But today what I want to do is give you five things to think about as you head into this new school year with robotics. And so what I hope to do is just give you a little bit of motivation, just give you a little bit of advice as you head into this new year. For some of you, you might be new. Some of you, you might be um, trying to get a foothold in what you're doing in robotics in your school. And hopefully today's tips really help you out. So here we go. Tip number five. I would say don't get too wrapped up in academics with robotics. Now that might go against everything that, again, your school or district might be thinking because, you know, there's always talk about um, going across the curriculum, trying to take math and science and, and integrate it and even language arts into your robotics program. But I've learned over the years that I've taught robotics that you know, these kids, a lot of them, it's an elective if you're in middle school or high school. And you're, you know, a lot of times they're trying to get away from the academics. You know, these students are trying to give their, their brain a mental break. And they're just looking to have some fun like they would in art or other um, electives. And so you have to just be careful and, and have a nice juggling act or a balancing act between you know, what they're doing and, you know, having fun and learning, but trying not to soak them too much into the academics where they start to go, man, maybe this is just not for me. Now you have to just be careful and not have it just be this three ring circus where everything is just fun and they learn nothing. But you have to be careful too that you don't oversaturate it with, you must learn this, you must do this. And that, you know, and, and they might be thinking, oh, wow, I'm now I'm overwhelmed and now I'm stressed like I am in my other classes. A lot of times this is their, you know, way of going, hey, I want to escape what I'm doing in other classes and just have, focus on fun and picking up, yes, some learning things, but not getting to the point where now this is just another academic class. Number four, definitely have fun. Have fun with this. Um, you know, make it something where the kids can come back a year, two years and go, man, remember when we did this? Um, you know, that you want them to learn, yes, programming, problem solving, coding, and, you know, just putting all of the package together. But in the end, it, if it's not fun, it was meaningless. It, it, you know, it was just something, okay, yeah, I remember that. Because, you know, we, when you were in grade school and middle school, we learned the academics, but it was the fun things that we remember. You know, it's the fun things that we that carried us through all these years. So as you're ready to start this new year in robotics, make sure to just stop and go, is this something fun? Am I going to enjoy it? Because a lot of times the kids will enjoy it when they see that you're excited about it, when you're engaged, where you're like, hey guys, you know, we're going to be starting this new thing. We're going to start this new challenge. We're going to start whatever it is. They can feel your excitement. So if you're not having fun, they're not going to have fun. So have fun. And coming into number three, learn together. You know, the first thing that I had issues with when I started teaching robotics was, oh no, what if I don't have the answers to this? Because, you know, as teachers, we're always in the game of, hey, I got to know all the answers. You know, if my students come up to me and don't know this equation, they're going to look at me like, hey, who is this fraud, you know? And in robotics, you just have to take a step back and go, you know what? I don't have that answer, but we're going to figure it out together. And that's the scary part. You know, you have to say that out loud a few times before you, be, you know, get too comfortable with it. But you just have to say, you know what? I don't know. And I know as a teacher that can be super scary. But replace it with, let's learn this together. Let's figure this out. And that way you and your students can be in the same boat. They can be less stressed because they see that you're going to figure this out with them instead of, oh my goodness, I don't know. You know, it's just going to be a little bit more reassuring and calming to them going, wow, you know what? I don't know this answer, but we're going to figure it out. So it's going to portray and 
communicate that, hey, we're going to get this. We don't know it right now, but we'll get there. So it, there's definitely a confidence level that you need to reassure them with. Coming in at number two, um, pick something. Don't overwhelm yourself. You know, this year, give yourself a few goals instead of going, oh my goodness, I have to know a hundred different things. You know, as teachers in general, we have to get, you know, we have to sit back and go, what are one or two or three things I really want to nail down this year? You're not going to nail down a hundred things. You need to sit back and go, these are my three top priorities. I want to get really good at this next year, another three until eventually, you know, you're just getting so much knowledge and experience down. So don't overwhelm yourself. Maybe make a list and go, these are the things I really want to be good at. Um, because a lot of times your students are going to pick up on it and go, you know what, you seem to be good at a, a lot of things, but maybe surface things. They want to know, hey, are you really good at this, this one thing, programming, um, problem solving, whatever it might be, pick and choose. Choose your battles instead of going, man, I'm going to try to figure this all out. It's just going to, it's just going to make you one of those on the surface teachers where we want to really dig deep on something, you know, a few things rather than just being a jack of all trades. So don't overwhelm yourself. Just target a few things that you will concentrate on this year being good at. And the last thing I would say is don't do this journey alone. Find somebody in your school. Now you might say, Mr. You know, I'm the only robotics teacher we have. And I get that because there was a time that I was the only one. In fact, a lot of my years, I was the only one. But reach out, you know, myself and the science teacher, we really, you know, put our heads together. And my, the science teacher that was with me did underwater robotics. So, you know, a lot of times we did have some common conversations. He was able to, you know, hook me up with some sumo tables. And so, you know, there was so much gained by reaching out to one another um, you know, in fact, just getting some tips some tricks and a lot of times just to vent, you know, just to get something off your chest and go, man, this is really bugging me. And, you know, sometimes they're able to be there to help you out and just be a sounding board and going, hey, chill out. It's everything's going to be OK. So, you know, even myself, I reached out to my buddy Steve, you know, that last video that we did on, you know, simultaneous tasks with Spike Prime. I reached out and said, hey man, I'm not the expert at everything. I need some help. And so just, you know, take a little swallow that pride pill and just go, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reach out and find from you know different people. Hit me up, even if you guys need to, and just ask, hey, you know, what can I do in this situation? So as we're starting the school year, hit me up on my uh, robotics curriculum. People ask me all the time. I do spike prime is it you know able to cross over and unless it's something specific to ev3 yeah a lot of the challenges that i do in my curriculum you can do with a spike prime robot and you know you can also take a look at the beginning of the year the contract that i have my students sign basically saying we're going to respect the kit the pieces we're going to different things in the contract that we want to agree on before this school year starts and so I'm excited for you guys. Um, I'm going to do some robotics this year, but not like I was doing before where it was every day. It might be once every few weeks. So I'm excited for you guys. For those of you that do robotics each day, I'm a little bit jealous too that you get to be so engaged in it. But take my word for it. These things that you can concentrate on on the beginning of the year will set you guys up for success and hopefully a lot of fun and something that's just going to be so memorable that will carry you through your teaching years. So good luck to you guys. I'm hoping that this was not only insightful, but motivating too, to help you guys start your year. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to try to post as many videos as I can. But again, since I'm not doing robotics full time, it might be a little tough, but good luck this school year. I hope you just rock it out. And again, concentrate on a few things just to tell your brain, hey, yeah, I'm, I'm really good at these two, three things instead of so-so on 20 or 30 things. So 
Enjoy, have fun, and I'll see you guys in my next video. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.